Hi, this is Deborah from DebraConrad.com. I'd like to share a little about my story today. Why? Because I'd like to see you have a similar story. Maybe not a story that lasts 10 years like mine has so far, but a story about multiple streams of online income. I call myself a streamer instead of a baby boomer because I don't think it's age related. I think that it is related to your efforts and your focus. I started out 10 years ago creating a website about a profession that I had just finished retiring from, so to speak. I was kind of a forced retirement because my profession was actually a painter. I painted inside, not outside people's homes, but inside people's homes. I did decorative finishes and murals for my business. And I was forced to retire from that business because it was too much physical work, (laughs) too much physical labor. I needed a way to take that kind of knowledge, that kind of skill, and create an income from it. I learned how to create a website, and then I had four websites, and I learned how to create video products and PDF downloads and uh, tutorials um, all in digital format. Nothing was physical format and people could come to my website and download. I learned how to go out to other websites and become kind of a marketer and try to drive people to my products and my information. And I had a, I had a forum, I had a an email list that I I worked on building and it worked out really, really well. Um, It was a lot of hard work. It took a lot of effort and training from other people, help from other people, but it was my first real launch into internet marketing and having my first digital product. And I got my start because I spent a lot of time listening and reading to other people people who were ahead of me and in the internet marketing field, so to speak. And talk, they talked about having a niche and being a specialist and being an expert. And I became that painter lady. Then I became so good at making websites, I created over a hundred websites. And I learned about niche marketing and making money from Google and making money as an affiliate. I don't have that many websites now because there have been changes in the way that Google finds your information. And I've learned that it's better now to focus on a few very, very good popular websites than a hundred at a time. It's a lot of work to maintain. Then I learned how to create websites for my local market. I learned how to do the offline biz model and marketed websites to local businesses and built websites and and learned how to do SEO and drive traffic. And that worked for a while, but I learned that I didn't really like to do websites for other people. And here's why. I love to work with clients and customers, but I can't always, even though I'm very creative, I can't always see into their minds and see what they visualize. And on the other hand, what they visualize isn't always a great website for customers. It's just what they think is pretty. It was very discouraging to me to to have to spend that much time one-on-one with a, a client And so I decided that it was better to create one product and sell it many times than to create one product per client. Then I learned about so many things, but I went into very heavily into public domain and became a public domain expert several years ago and learned how to leverage public domain content, which is free, free to use, free to transform into anything you want and Uh, leverage that into products of my own and publish them. So I began teaching and, and training people on how to do that for themselves and build their own businesses. Then I became very interested in the Amazon FBA program and 
the last three years, I have been very tied to selling products on Amazon. Um, I started out with thrifting, which, of course, then I started a podcast called thriftingforprofit.com, and I have a website and several guides which teach the same process that I learned. And then I became a, re- you know, I decided I wanted to be in retail arbitrage and go to all the stores and buy things to send in. But it became very, very competitive. And I turned to wholesale and creating my own bundles. And I sort of came full circle. And now I'm creating products to sell on Amazon and eBay and and eventually on Etsy that include the training and knowledge that I learned over the years by including things that uh, are from public domain, that are from videos that I've created. They are a variety of things, and I just love it because it's kind of like branding myself into a big world of all these shoppers. My point today is that I have built multiple streams of income over the years. So when I'm having a bad day or a bad week or a bad month on uh, eBay or Amazon, I'm usually getting checks from affiliates. I'm getting checks from Amazon. I'm getting checks from Google. If something happens with the way that Google's algorithm has changed and my income drops, on Google AdSense, then I can turn around and not worry too much because I'll just ramp up something else because I've learned all of these techniques. I think it's important here. That's kind of my story. And I wanted you to know a little bit about my story and why I think it's important for you to know that having all of your eggs in one basket or business ideas in one basket, which is Amazon or eBay or an Etsy seller or just doing affiliate marketing or um, promoting other people's products, just doing your own digital products or selling books on CreateSpace, Amazon's or Kindle's, Amazon's Kindle program. I really believe that doing just one of those is a disservice to you and your family and your business because your business is not a Kindle book. Your business is not an Amazon product. Your business is to stay in business with an income that can survive the ups and downs of a variety of different places. Now, I'm not saying that this comes quickly, and I'm not saying that it'll take you 10 years like I did. I have been doing this, yes, for 10 years, and it has been working very well for me. I get into new things. I drop old things. I am the queen of of following shiny objects and, and buying into new ideas. But I've learned over the years that the basics stay the same. The basics get back to basics. Sharing your story when you have successes is a powerful, powerful tool to get people to fall in love with you and anything that you want to do, that you want to sell, whether it's something creative, something from public domain, just Amazon products. All of those things balled up into one big business. I want you to be a streamer. A streamer is a is someone who creates multiple streams of income. I'm a streamer. Join me over at DebraConrad.com where I share my story and my path and what I'm working on every day. So you can kind of follow along, get ideas for your own business And think about ways that you can create multiple streams of income and become a streamer too. See you soon.